Hello, my name is Andy Getz, president of React 365 Incorporated. I'm located at our corporate office in Pauley's Island, South Carolina. And due to the recent Gulf Coast oil spill, React presents the following theoretical approach to prove feasibility of using human hair to remediate surface oil spills. Human hair is excellent in soaking up oil due to its porous properties. Best of all, it is cost effective and can be reused after the oil is extracted. For a test method feasibility study today, I have actual seawater in a two gallon bucket. I have some two cycle dark motor oil. I'm going to, head, going to go ahead and simulate a surface oil spill. As you can see, the oil will pull to the surface and eventually congregate together. Now we've simulated a pretty pretty decent oil slick or oil spill. So for this feasibility study using human hair, we're going to go ahead and take some of our samples of hair. We'll place them directly onto and lightly. You don't want to clump it on too much. But you can imagine on a larger scale working from a boat or a ship. Um, you could almost kind of throw bales of it out there um, from the boat or the vessel and you're going to want to apply the hair gently to the oil spill and the natural waves of the ocean will kind of work that in there and the, the pores will absorb up the oil so it's going to utilize the tiny little spaces in the hair to start to pull the oil up literally off of the water and it should work very nicely. I'm going to apply just a little, little bit more using different types of some hair that our staff was kindly giving us for this study. Um, as we're working with this and letting this oil soak in, it only takes a few minutes, but uh, I'll tell you a little bit about React 365 Incorporated. We've got regional offices in Ohio, New York, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia. One of our, uh, we do environmental and industrial services, and one of our primary uh, core services that we offer is something called dry ice blasting. And dry ice blasting is much like sandblasting or soda blasting, only we use carbon dioxide or CO2 pellets. And when those CO2 pellets are shot out of the nozzle and they impact the surface, they sublimate, which means that the solid turns directly into a gas without the water or the liquid phase. So it impacts the surface, breaking off the contaminant, and then it disperses into a gas so you have nothing to clean up like you would after you completed sandblasting, or you may add additional waste to the waste stream. So we can blast in place with no waste. Nationwide services available. We also do environmental hazardous and non-hazardous waste disposal. Hydroblasting up to 40,000 PSI and other consulting environmental services and spill response management. So we've got our hair kind of soaked in there a little bit. As you can see this is real time so it didn't take very long and you could picture the the motion of the ocean with the waves going back and forth. So now you can see the hair has actually absorbed up the oil from the water and you can basically just start to peel it back. So if you were in a boat or on a vessel and you could start to, to grab this with, with some ropes or some netting and you had a pretty nice line of hair down, you can literally roll up 
the oil off the top of the water. And this is actual seawater. This is actually how oil would respond in this type of setting. And you can see I literally rolled it up and removed the oil. Then I was getting into talking about how you can reuse the hair after the oil is extracted. Uh, if you were to put it through a pressure vessel or press it out, you could actually go ahead and reuse some of the hair. And just to demonstrate that, I'm just going to take a little bit of it here. Get my hands nice and gooey for you. Didn't want the gloves to get in the way uh, of the demonstration and actually being able to work with the hair. So, anyway, if you were to press this out, you could actually go ahead and reuse the hair. So I can use the hair to kind of clean up my hands here. And then if we go back over, you can absorb the rest of the little sheen that you might have on top of the water. And you can see that it, it leaves you with a pretty nice, clean uh, bucket of seawater. So if you just wanted to touch off that sheen, touch it up just a little bit if you reapplied some of the hair and the great thing is is as you know from personal hygiene that hair will actually start to repel water a little bit and uh, so even when you when you go to dump it in it's not going to immediately sink down into the water it's going to go ahead and look for that oil and so we use a little bit of that to just take that remaining part of the sheen off the top of the water and then you can just filter out the hair or whatever whatever you need to do whatever your response team needs to do for more information including calculations and square foot coverage please contact 866-811-8365 extension 80 or email us at info at react 365.com or to inquire about our availability for spill response or any of our other environmental and industrial services including dry ice blasting please visit react365.com or email sales s a l e s at react365.com thank you very much please stand by for an important message